Hello, this is the fourth video in the seventh chapter of the Crystal Clear Electronics videos, in which we continue with electronic switching devices. In the previous videos, we looked at mechanical switching devices and bipolar transistors. In this video, we focus on the MOSFETs. MOSFETs can be called as field effect transistors with an insulation layer, which originates from its structure and operation. The MOS acronym is the short form of the English words metal oxide semiconductor. The FET consists of field effect transistor, which refers to the fact that it is field controlled. Also, the MOSFET has different types. We will examine the one which operates in enhancement mode. Similarly to bipolar transistors, these switch devices also have three terminals, which are the drain or D, source S and gate or G. Its symbol used on wiring diagrams can be seen in the following figure. On the left side, you can see the so-called N channel. On the right side, the so-called P channel variant of enhancement type MOSFET. Their operation is very similar to bipolar transistors operation. Can you explain the difference between the two? The biggest difference is that we control these with voltage and not with current. We can pull something down to ground with the N channel MOSFET, so the source's voltage has to be lower compared to the drain's voltage. We use the term pull when we want to express that we are electrically connecting two points in some way, typically through a component. For example, in the previous video, we used the bipolar transistor to pull the cathode of the LED to ground. It's an interesting fact that when connecting inversely the drain source terminals, then the source will be on higher potential and because of its structure, the so-called body diode will open, through which current will be able to flow. With the help of P-channel MOSFET, we can pull something up to supply voltage. In a reverse case, the body diode will open. The control electrode of the device is the gate terminal, and the current conduction between the drain source can be affected with it. In case of N-channel MOSFET, between drain and source, a current conducive channel appears because of the controlling and charges are able to flow through this channel from the drain to the source. Between the gate and source terminals, because of its internal structure, there is a so-called gate capacity and we can control the channel by charging or discharging this capacitor. Short time current impulse flows through the capacitor when charging or discharging it, but if the gate capacitor has been charged already, then current won't flow from the direction of the gate terminal. It's important that the gate terminal should not be left freely float because the capacitor will charge up because of leaking charges, which come through the gate electrode and in spite of our will, the MOSFET will open. To make sure that the capacitor doesn't charge up unintentionally, we have to ensure the discharge of the capacitor in case of uncontrolled gate electrode. A solution for this is the pull up down resistor, which I will present later. We will examine the MOSFET as a switch element, so its simplified model is a voltage-controlled resistor, which we use in order to approach its operation. The drain current, or ID, depends on the gate source voltage, UGS. You can find the drain source resistance in the datasheet with the RDS on marking, which gives its value when the MOSFET is fully open. Considering its operation, if we increase the gate source voltage, or UGS, then the drain source resistance will decrease and the ID will decrease as well. The amount of heat the FET creates during current conduction depends on the resistance value. The lower the RDS on resistance, the lower the heat loss or the dissipation will be. We have to also look for the following data in the datasheet. The UDS indicates the permissible drain source voltage and the ID the permissible continuous drain current. UGS is the permissible gate source voltage and PD is the permissible largest heat loss. UGS TH denotes the gate source threshold voltage. That's when the conductive layer will start to appear between the drain and the source. In the following figure, you can see the current and voltage directions of the N-channel MOSFET. UT is used to denote the battery voltage and UGS is used to denote the gate source voltage. The current flowing towards the gate electrode is IG, the current flowing towards the drain electrode is ID, and the current flowing towards the source output is I source. 
In addition, it's important to highlight the UDS or the drain source voltage. Let's look at our well-known example again in order to inspect our switching element during its operation. We've already built this circuit, you should do the same before you continue watching the video. Let's look at each component's function in the circuit. The LED goes into the higher voltage drain branch with the associated RD resistor. We connect the source terminal of the MOSFET to the ground, so in case of conduction, our circuit will be closed and our LED will need to light up. There is a parallel RGS, so-called pull-down resistor, between the gate source terminals, so if we don't drive the gate with a control signal, it won't even float, it will be on fixed ground potential, i.e. it will stay in turned-off state. The pull-down resistor is a very frequently used solution. It's important to know more about it. The pull-down resistor is a solution where we connect the terminal to a lower voltage point through a resistor, so in case of uncontrolled electrode, it will be on constant voltage and the operation of the device won't be uncertain. Typically, we draw the terminal to the ground. So here, if the wire at the on point is not connected to anything, the on point is at ground potential. In the circuit, we have to connect proper voltage to the on point, which will turn on the FET and the LED will start to light up. This is the minimum layout required for proper operation. What do you need to know about the P-channel MOSFETs? First, let's see how the current and voltage directions of a P-channel MOSFET are evolving. It's important to point out that the symbols of the batteries have been reversed, so now the direction of the reference is the other way around. In the same way, we will have a base voltage, a source gate voltage, and we will have a gate current, drain current and source current. The USD or source drain voltage is also important to mention. The LED circuit built with MOSFET is possible the following way. On the right, you can see the pinout of the transistor. The given component's role is the same as it was in the N-channel LED circuit. The only difference is the RGS resistor, which now acts as a pull-up resistor. The pull-up resistor connects a certain terminal to a higher voltage point, as its name suggests this. Similarly to the pull-down resistor, the input of the controller is on a defined potential at all the time. And now we've reached the end of MOSFETs. Thank you for joining us again. If you liked the video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. Bye! Bye-bye!